Sunday at the SummitRacing.com Nationals, continuing his qualifying dominance. He is with the top qualifier at each of the season's four events, but he is still looking for that first victory of the year in the IM Second Interstate Batteries K&N Chevy Camaro. Well, that's the plan, that's for sure. We need one. Just, uh, you know, the battery ran really good. Just Over number two qualifier, Alan Johnson, and his 208.26 miles an hour speed. Not only was Edwards fastest in a pro-stock class, he was also the only one of the 208 mile an hour range. But all that success, including running his weekend best numbers in the worst conditions, hardly erased the sting of losing in the first round of the $50,000 to win King and N Horsepower Challenge that took place during qualifying on Saturday. Well, I just, I've been trying to win that thing for like 12 years now. I just, I don't know, I can't do it. I just, I guess I just can't win it. One thing that brought a smile to Edwards' face, though, was the prospect of equaling Bob Glidden's qualifying streak record. 23 rows of Bob Glidden. I don't think we'll ever see it. I mean, it actually looks like never, but it ain't gonna happen this year. <laughs> too many good cars out here. Eliminations for the SummitRacing.com Nationals are scheduled to start at 11 o'clock Sunday morning. Catch all the action on ESPN2 and find out what the winners have to say at CompetitionPlus.com. Kathy Fisher, CompetitionPlus.tv.